Next to these guys, which I just welded in, they're very hot. And that's gonna be a full rectangle all the way around. And because it's on these slidey pipes, it'll be able to slide up and down. And then I'll be able to lock it in place with these bolts that are on the end of each, or in the middle of each one of these. And I'm gonna weld a little, you know, like a stick onto here so it's easy to crank them open and closed. So I don't need a wrench or anything. My camera battery died and it's been charging for the last uh, hour and a half or so. So you missed some stuff. Uh, I got those pieces welded in down here and I got some other ones welded in here and then I made this retarded silly giant crank thing up here. Oh, I just put my hand on the grease. I'll tell you about the grease in a minute. Well yeah I greased the pipes going up and down so the ones the bigger ones, you know, the ones attached to the table area can slide up and down. So this is greased and that's greased and that's greased and that's greased with this wonderful stuff. And I'm probably gonna do that like a hundred times before I remember not to do that anymore. Anyway, let me show you how it works. Oh, I can't touch the button with my, excuse my other hand. So I put some threaded holes in this part and then in this cranky part up here so I could attach a cable here, wrap it around the top part a few times and bolt it in on both sides. And now when I crank my crank, ooh, check it out, the whole thing goes up. I just have to watch I don't hit myself in the face with this opposite end. Ooh, it's so smooth. It goes down with its own weight. Is it smooth like a baby's bum? Smooth like a baby's bum, except near the bottom. Then I have to put a bit of weight on it to get it to go down. But when it has like the saw and stuff on it, it'll have extra weight and be extra super good. And then I can lock it in place where I want with these little cranker wankers. And then it stays right there. That's it. Okay, but once I lock it in place, what do I do with that up there to make sure it doesn't like let this come all loose? I'm gonna have to, it seems a little bit excessive to have like a counterweight wound the other direction. Cause it might swing around and hit stuff anyway. I could put a like a bolt thing like this up there to, to lock it in place when it stops. I don't know, I'll think of something. I just need a high friction item. Like, stay right there. Here's a good look at my uh, cranker situation up here. This uh, just goes through a pipe that's bigger. And then that's wound around. It has a bolt thing to kind of clamp the cable in. And the same thing at the other side. And then here's the bolts at the bottom. Oh, hey look, there's a little girl over there, hi. What it's gonna be like, you know. I think, I think something just happened. No, I didn't fart. I think I just got an idea. Yeah, definitely an idea. Okay, I have a pulley, a couple bolts, a spring. Oh, happy day! I love when I get to use a spring. I love springs, they're so cool. They're like as good as magnets almost. And then I have some cable thingies and some cable. Oh, totally exactly what I needed for this plan. Well, it's probably because I made the plan after I saw what I had. But still, it's great when I have exactly what I need for the plan. Oh, and I even have one of these. The plan just changed. Oh. 
Okay, check it, check it. This goes up at the top bar that's the spinning bar, the one that turns around. And the cable attaches to this and turns around a couple times and then comes down to the bottom, hooks around the pulley, goes up to the spring, and then the other end of the cable, I'm gonna have to cut the cable, goes to here and goes uh, back up to the thing up there. Oh yeah, the bolt that's right here. Yeah, that's it. I got it. There, just like I said, now I've got one cable going around one way, one going around the opposite way, and this one goes down to a spring, to a pulley, and back up to where this other one is attached. And now I can crank it down, and it stays, and up, and it stays, and wherever I put it, it stays because the, uh, it keeps tension on the both cables because of the spring. Oh, isn't that great? And the other cool part about that is this cable going down to the spring and back up to the thing pulls the table area down uh, when it cranks down. So it's not just relying on the weight to pull it down. Okay. Hey.